force effects of force look at this book it's just sitting there on the table it isn't moving at all what are the different ways we could move it from that position we could pick the book we could push the book or pull it a little we could blow hard on the book and its pages may flutter a bit we need to push or pull to make the objects move look at this cart how can we make this cart move we can pull it with our hands then it will move look at this bicycle what will make this bicycle move someone can push it or pull it or sit on it and pedal away we have to push and pull at objects all the time we pull when we pick up a shopping bag we pull it towards us we push when we open a door we push it away when we squeeze a sponge dry we push at it when we drag a toy cart we are pulling it towards us we push the striker to make the coins on the carrom board move when we wind up the spring of a toy it is a twisting movement when we sharpen a pencil we use twisting movement a pinwheel can be moved by blowing at it what are people doing when they do all these things do you think the objects they are handling would have moved if they had not done these actions could those objects have moved on their own no well what is needed to move those objects then some force no object moves on its own force is needed to make a stationary object move a stationary object is an object that is not moving force is what makes an object move what can we do to make an object stop moving we need to apply force look at this ball that is rolling on the ground how can we stop it we need to apply a force like this so that the ball will stop rolling now how can you stop this toy car again by applying some force we can stop the car what else can we do with force look at the shape of this mound of soil what will happen if we use force to punch it the shape of the mound changes look at this dough to make chapatis we can use force to stretch it flatten it out or roll it into balls 
When a blacksmith hammers a red hot piece of iron, its shape changes. Hence, we can use force to change the shape of an object. Look at this ball. Let us set it in motion by pushing it in this direction. If we come from this side and kick it, what happens? It is still moving. But now it is moving in a different direction. When a bowler bowls to the batsman in cricket, what does the batsman do? He applies a force to the ball with his bat so that the direction of the ball changes. Hence, force can change the direction of a moving object. Now, using force, let us set this car in motion. What will happen if we push it in the same direction? It will continue going in the same direction, but its speed will increase. When a moving tire is pushed and set in motion, what will happen if you push it with a stick in the same direction? Again, the speed will increase, but the direction of motion will remain the same. If the force is applied in the direction opposite to the direction of motion, then the speed will decrease. If the goalkeeper succeeds in stopping the ball, its speed decreases. So, by applying force, we can change the speed of the object. So, what is force needed for? Force is needed to set a stationary object in motion. It is also needed to make a moving object stop. Force can change the shape of an object. Force can even change the direction of a moving object. Force is needed to increase or decrease the speed of an object. What did we just learn? No object moves on its own. Some force is needed to move an object. Force can also change the shape of an object. Force is also needed to change the direction or speed of a moving object.